Hello everyone, in this video you will learn how to use Nmap for hacking. I upload really cool ethical hacking videos on this channel every week. So if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button as well so you won't miss out on any video I upload here on this channel. Nmap stands for Network Mapper. You can find which devices are running on a network, discover open ports and services, run various scripts and also detect vulnerabilities using Nmap. Nmap is a free and open source network scanner created by Gordon Leon. Nmap was first published in September 1997 as an article in FRAC magazine with source code included. Nmap can adapt to network conditions including latency and congestion during a scan. The most recent version of Nmap at the time of making this video is Nmap version 7.91. Let's dive straight into using Nmap. If you don't have Nmap already installed, you can get the tool from GitHub or from nmap.org. Links are in the video description below. If you don't know how to install Nmap, you can look up instructions on how to do that on Google. I already have Nmap installed, so I will just go ahead and launch the tool. I use Kali Linux operating system. Operating systems like Kali Linux and Parrot OS usually comes with Nmap pre-installed. So if you are running one of these operating systems, no need to install Nmap because it's already there. Let's do a simple scan using the domain provided by Nmap for testing. So we'll say Nmap scanme.nmap.org. To speeding up this a little bit, we could use the parameter hyphen t1 to hyphen t5. Hyphen t5 which seems to be the fastest but I won't recommend using hyphen t5 because it tends to miss out some things while scanning. I will advise you use either hyphen t3 or hyphen t4 which is not too fast and not too slow and doesn't miss out stuff very much while scanning. Personally, I prefer using hyphen t4. nmap hyphen t4 scanme.nmap.org Let me know down the comment section the one you prefer the most. Let's introduce another parameter to our scan syntax the hyphen p hyphen which scan for the top 1000 ports nmap hyphen t4 hyphen p hyphen then our target domain or ip address in our case we we'll use the domain scanme.nmap.org sometimes this takes almost forever to complete to make this video as brief as possible i will have to stop the scan if you want to be more precise in scanning ports, then you can use hyphen p without the other hyphen and specify the ports you want to scan. That is nmap hyphen t4 hyphen p, then port 80, port 443, 53, and 25, then our target, which is scanme.nmap.org. Cool, isn't it? The next scan syntax we will be looking at is the hyphen A. The hyphen A enables OS detection, version detection, script scanning and trace route all at once. So let's add it up to our scan syntax. nmap t4 p port 53 80 25 22 hyphen A then our target. This is really cool. Yeah, really cool. The last thing I'll be showing you is how to detect vulnerabilities using scripts in Nmap. Locate asterisk dot nse. This command will list out all the scripts we can use to scan for vulnerabilities. You can run specific scripts from the list by specifying the scripts you would like to run but I will show you how to run all the scripts at once to find vulnerabilities using this simple command. 
sudo nmap hyphen hyphen script then vuln then our target which is scanme.nmap.org As you can see, I did not find any vulnerabilities during this scan. Run this scan from your end and let me know down in the comment section if you found any vulnerability. If you got questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section. If you found this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share with others. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at bstef underscore. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next video.